Hey, what's going on, folks? Mike from Long Island Shaving. Welcome to The Shave Den. Thank you for tuning in today. And for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. I appreciate you being here. Really excited to get into today's shave. This was a soap set that I knew that I was going to be receiving over the last two or three weeks. And it has finally arrived. I received this earlier this afternoon. And it is the dark side from HAGS. For those of you not familiar with HAGS, HAGS stands for Have a Great Shave. This is an amazing artisan. I have many of their soap sets that I've used over the last two years. I've been very pleased with this artisan. It's a very premium soap base and it provides a really great experience. And for those of you that know or are familiar with, Hags released The Dark Side as well last year. Also, just to put this out there, this is a completely different scent profile and it's not the same as what's being released this year. But this was also a banger last year and it sold out very quickly. And one thing I will tell you about Hags and with these special um, releases that they put out from time to time is that they sell out quick. Um, so this will be released at all the major retailers, uh, but my retailer choice is the Razor Company. And I've seen that there's been some posts that this will be released at 9 a.m. Uh, on Thursday morning. Uh, so definitely be ready for it. And I've had some opportunity to get familiar with this scent profile throughout the day. Uh, this is very similar to another set that Hags had released last year with a twist. And I'm not aware of this, but I know that they're... The set notes were very familiar to me because I had an opportunity to wear the splash on, on my hand throughout the day to experience it. And uh, after the dry down, I'm like, this smells very similar to another set that I have had with from Hags. But I'll share that with you in a, in a second and I'll go through the scent notes and uh, my experiences with you. Uh, but just to also to put this out there for full disclosure, this set was sent to me by Demetrius at Hags for review purposes. So thank you, Demetrius, for sending this to me uh, and appreciate you supporting the channel. So thank you very much for that. But really excited to get into today's shave. Of course, I have the uh, matching splash of the dark side uh, that I was very pleased with throughout the day. I haven't shaved it yet, but I am uh, enjoying this scent profile for sure. The shave brush that I'll be using is the Alpha Shaving Works uh, T400. Uh, it's a 24 millimeter synthetic knot. Felt that this was appropriate for today's shave being in red. And the razor of choice is the Rockwell 6S stainless steel on the plate five with a perma sharp blade. Also felt this was fitting in all matte black. And I'll be whipping up the dark side in my honeycomb vanule bow. So I'll have the uh, lather whipped up in this in a little bit. So like I always do, I'm going to go ahead and whip up the lather off camera and then we'll get right into this scent profile and I'll share with you guys my thoughts and uh, opinions on this new set that's going to be released on Thursday. So I will be right back. All right guys, I'm back. Have the uh, lather applied just to save some time so we don't have to have these videos going on too long. Uh, so let's get right into today's shave and let me share my, my thoughts on this scent profile. So for those of you that may be familiar uh, with a set that was released by Hags last year, uh, I'll show that to you guys real quick. It's Memento More. If you're familiar with this set and you enjoyed it, you're going to like, in my opinion, you're going to really like the dark side. Now let me read off the set notes of Memento More it's as it's on the back of the container. That's one thing I will say. I wish a lot of artisans did that. It makes life a lot easier. So the set notes from Memento Mori is dark chocolate, rum, caramel, coffee, sugar cane, almond, sandalwood, and heliotrope. So that's the set notes for Memento Mori. Dark Side, the one that's going to be released on Thursday, pretty much has all those set notes, but the twist I was referring to is there's lavender and grapefruit added at the top. You definitely pick up the lavender, like right now that I have this applied, I pick up the lavender and grapefruit right away. But as it sits, you start picking up the similarities to Memento Mori. You start picking out the dark chocolate. You start picking up the coffee. Um, and it becomes very familiar. And how I noticed that early on is because obviously I had Memento Mori, but I applied the splash on my hand. Initially, you get hit with the lavender and the grapefruit. 
And then as it dried down, I started noticing like, wow, this, you stop picking up the dark chocolate and coffee notes. And, um, it was very pleasing and I, I, I really enjoyed it. And I was really looking forward to getting into today's shave for that reason. Exactly. So my thoughts are, as I picked up Memento Mori and I was very pleased with it last year and very happy that I, that was a set uh, that I really enjoyed. And um, what I'm trying to say is if you enjoyed that scent last year, you're really going to like um, the new dark side. And honestly, I wouldn't have thought that grapefruit and lavender would go well with the dark chocolate and the coffee scent profile, but it does go, it does blend really well together. So it's definitely enjoyable. Um, I also really, uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it, this lather. It lathered up really well. Uh, this is a new base that I have not tried before. Uh, it's called the Osiris base. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. O-S-I-R-I-S, -I -I Osiris. I have never tried that base before, um, but I'm very pleased with it so far. Very creamy consistency. Um, yes, very slick. They're all very slick. Um, that's a nice cushion to it. Um, so offers some really nice protection because I need that right now. Because I did a number in the last shave with a different razor the other day. So I'm glad that this is uh, providing some nice protection. So um, just kind of taking it easy and using a very mild razor even though this is the top plate five i'm just being very easy around this area hey it happens to the best of us i haven't had that happen in a while it was a razor i wasn't 100 percent familiar with so uh it happens but really enjoying uh this set this set and i think you guys will really like it and again you guys are gonna have to jump on it on thursday uh, that's my recommendation to you. It's not, that's why in a way I'm glad I'm able to bring you guys my experience before the release so you can kind of decide for yourself if this is something that is within your wheelhouse and that you'll enjoy. All right, let's get the uh, second pass in, go against the grain. Oh, yeah. This is good. I'm, and again, I'm glad in a way I had the opportunity to experience the splash on my left hand today um, and smelling it throughout the day. So I had some time and in doing that, and I've done that before, but I think I'm going to do that um, often, especially with a new set that I received just to get familiar with the scent profile early on before the shave. So I think I'm going to do that as a default for now on um, so I can speak to it when doing these reviews. Um, I think that would be help more helpful to, rather than just on the fly sharing my feedback. You know, sometimes I do that with new sets or even new razors. I give you guys my first initial impressions and sharing the first shave. I do kind of like doing that, sharing a razor experience. But I'm going to start doing that with a new set. And I have a new uh, set arriving tomorrow from uh, an artist in a new release that's coming up uh, in the next few days as well. So I will have my review of that probably tomorrow night. I may do it tomorrow night. So be on the lookout. But I was really excited to uh, do the shave today. And I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I don't know about you guys, but... Uh, I've been a Star Wars fan for a long time, and uh, this is no question right up my alley. Just the label alone is uh, is killer. I mean, not even knowing what the sim profile is, you look at this label, you're buying it, right? I mean, Demetrius really did a uh, phenomenal job. I mean, even last year, I mean, the label for Dark Side last year was uh, awesome, and... Um, I had no idea what the scent profile was. I read it online, but when I received it, um, I really love and this one. Uh, you get rose, amber, uh, oud, tonka bean, 
um, I really do enjoy this. And I haven't had a bad experience from any set that I received from Hags. Uh, they've all been fantastic. So. I think you guys will enjoy it. And what I'll do, just I'm gonna mention this now. Um, as soon as Thursday hits, I will update my description of this video and I'll include uh, the direct link if you guys are interested in purchasing it. I'll be sure to uh, add that to the description first thing on Thursday. Uh, this way you guys don't have to search. You just go right to the description and, uh, and click it. Or if you're watching this video after Thursday for some reason, uh, as long as they're still available, um, I will include the link in the description as well. Just to make life easier for everyone. All right, I think we're good. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick cleanup and just clean uh, rinse. And I'll be right back and then we'll get right into the splash and I'll share my experiences with the splash. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Just did a quick cleanup, shaped in a little bit better. Really great shave. All right, so let's give this uh, splash a shot. All right, here we go. Shake it up really good. And again, I wore this on my hands, so this will be the first time actually applying it. So uh, see if I pick up any differences. Got a nice generous amount there. All right, here we go. All right, again, so like I had mentioned earlier, you get hit with the lavender right away and the grapefruit. So the lavender and grapefruit blend really well together. But then as this dries down, like I'm not picking it up yet, but as it dries down, you start picking up the dark chocolate and the coffee. And then you start picking up the similarities to Momento Mori. Um, for me, that's my... That's what I noticed when it was on my hand today. But again, uh, still top notes, grapefruit and lavender. But um, I know because it did on my hand that I'm going to start picking up uh, the dark chocolate more. I'm not picking it up just yet, but uh, I'm sure it's there. It just seems slight, but the dry down. That's when everything really comes together. Really great set. Um, really enjoyed the shave and the guys definitely uh, look to pick this up again it's going to be released on Thursday the 15th um, many retailers again Razor Company is going to have this up uh, nine o'clock in the morning um, I will again include it in the description as soon as it's released on the website I'll add the link to it for those of you that may see this video a little bit later um, but I would jump on this as soon as you can because Again, based on past experiences, they sell very quickly. Um, but uh, yes, I really enjoy this. And thank you to Demetrius at Hags for sending this for review. Really do appreciate you sharing this with me and uh, allowing me to share with you guys uh, and give you guys my full experience. So this is definitely one worth considering picking up. With that, I appreciate you guys tuning in today. And again, for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome Listen, we are right at 400 right now. I think we're like two away. Uh, I would really appreciate if you enjoyed the content. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And um, I appreciate each and every one of you uh, watching today. So without further ado, you guys have a great rest of your night. And uh, I'll see you guys real soon. May have another video being uploaded tomorrow with another new release. Thank you, guys, and uh, have a good one. Take care now. Bye-bye.